You're watching Let's Chat. The big fall garden festival on the way this weekend to the Hamilton Ag Center. And here joining us now is a master gardener to talk about that, but not just any master gardener. This is Suzanne Ford. Suzanne is the president of the Master Gardeners of Hamilton County. Suzanne, good to see you. Good to see you. All right, big festival going on this weekend. Before we get into the specifics, why are we doing this in the fall? Doesn't most gardening take place in the spring? That's what everybody thinks. <laughs> uh, and, and, and it's true, everybody's excited, you know, to plant something and start the garden going. But the fall is really an important time to plant trees and shrubs, to plant perennials that will be ready for next spring, right. to divide uh, plants that need dividing, and to get your beds ready for the winter with mulch and compost. Give me an idea. I know you brought an assortment here today, but give us an idea of what is going to be available at the Fall Garden Festival. We will have about a dozen vendors with plants and yard art and um, different things to buy. We will have demonstrations by our master gardeners. There will be a demonstration on straw bale gardening, on mulching, on composting, on uh, tool, tool maintenance. That's an important part of things. It's very, and uh, putting your tools away in the winter so that when you get them in the spring, they're not all rusty yeah. is extremely important. Let me ask you this. We've heard the term master gardener before, and a number of master gardeners have been on the various shows with us throughout the years. Becoming a master gardener ain't no easy thing. Uh, we offer a training course. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's about 16 weeks. We teach you everything from water uh, maintenance to uh, tree care to landscaping. And, and it's, uh, we also have volunteering. Volunteering is, is really the essential part of the Master Gardener program. And vo Master Gardeners volunteer at something like our festival. You'll see us with a table at some farmer's markets around town and at our projects where we have community, we help communities build their own gardens. Sure, and they turn out to be more sustainable gardens than someone for like sure. me, for example, <laughs> might try to, try to deal with. And you gotta consider there's fruits, there's vegetables, there's the ornamental plants, there are things that can help feed you, your family, your neighbors, and save you a lot of money in the process. Absolutely, and in fact, one of the things we'll be showing at the festival is fall vegetables. People think the growing season does not stop here right. in, in November. Sure. You can, in fact, your lettuces, your broccoli, your, even your Brussels sprouts, which can be very tasty, oh, yeah. uh, are sweeter when the weather gets colder. So you can plant a lot of things now that you'll be harvesting in December. And it's really amazing to see somebody like Suzanne and the other great master gardeners who can do just that. Plant something now, harvest in the spring, plant something in the spring, harvest in the fall. There's a whole lot Absolutely. to it. And if you want to find out more, this is one of the ladies that can tell you everything you need to know. Suzanne, thank you so much. Thank you. Again, it's going on this weekend, the Fall Garden Festival. It will run from 10 until 6 at the Hamilton County Ag Center, just off of Bonnie Oaks Drive. If you'd like more information, check out the website. And again, Fall Garden Festival this Saturday morning, starting at 10.